Number 10, why must the charge balance in oxidation reduction reactions? Okay, so in oxidation reduction reactions, basically you have two half reactions in which one is oxidation and one is reduction. Remember, oxidation means that you lost electrons. On the flip side, reduction is a gain of electrons. And it kind of makes sense that whatever you lost is always going to be gained from the other, you know, substance. So basically, if you have X yields Y, right? And then let's just say you have another reaction in which A plus B, right? These are your two half reactions. It does not matter what X is, what Y is, what A or B is. So don't really pay attention to that. The thing here that matters is that one is going to have electrons on the left-hand side of the half reaction, and one is going to have the electrons on the right-hand side. If you have electrons both on one side or the other side, this is not an oxidation-reduction reaction. Oxidation reductions are always a loss and a gain, not a loss-loss or a gain-gain. Now, whatever your electrons are on the product side, you, you know, gave them off into the atmosphere. In essence, what you started with lost the electrons. They're on the other side. So if you're losing electrons, always electrons on the right side is always the oxidation part. And electrons that are on the reactant side is a is notion that you're gaining this guy, whoever A is, is going to be gaining those electrons, and that is reduction. So maybe I'll just put reduction over here. But now here's the thing. Whatever amount of electrons that you had, that you're giving away, that has to be picked up. So if you're giving away three electrons, the other one has to pick up the three electrons. This is because of the law of conservation, not of mass, but that is something, but we're talking about charges here. The law of conservation of charge says that whatever the charge was on the reactant side has to be the same charge on the product side. And in order to do that, it's because of those electrons that were lost and gained. That's the only way that those charges are gonna change by whoever gained electrons and whoever lost. So that's why the charge has to balance because you cannot just lose electrons along the way. Everything has to be accounted for. It's like, you know, doing, you know, bookkeeping, right? Whatever comes in has to go out or something like that, but it's ba basically the same exact idea here. So nothing is lost. So whatever the electrons are that got lost in oxidation, they have to be gained in reduction. That all comes back to the law of conservation of charge, and that is the answer. What do you think? Thanks for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope you all have a great day. Um, I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.